Hello, it is Thursday, April 20th, 2023. I'm Chris Remo, and welcome back to the New York Times Crossword Daily Solve. It's a Thursday puzzle today, which means a some kind of theme, some kind of intricate, interesting, or challenging theme. And this interesting, intricate, or challenging edition of the Daily Solve has been brought to us by Bradley Pirtle, Alex, Laura Sexton, and, as always, the invaluable Timothy Mark and the indomitable Showmaster. So thank you so much to the five of them, benefactors of the Daily Solve Patreon campaign, for their generous support, bringing us this series, sustaining this channel. I really do appreciate it. It is what keeps this whole thing going. So thank you. If you yourself are a patron at any level, it means a lot to me. And if you'd like to become a patron, help support this channel, you can head over to patreon.com slash daily solve or click the link in the description field underneath the video. And there as a benefactor, you can get the daily solve. Let's check the crosses mug. And as a patron at any level, you can get access to all of the bonus videos that have gone up on the channel to date, as well as the new ones that go up each week. So again, thank you if you've done so. And uh, please do subscribe to the YouTube channel if you've not gotten around to that. And you can join the Daily Solve Discord chat server. There's a link in the description field to that. Nice, friendly chat community. All right. All that said, let's get on to today's Thursday puzzle. This was constructed by Simeon Siegel, who's constructed around half a dozen crosswords for the New York Times. And it was edited, as always, by Will Shorts. So let's start solving and see what sort of interesting theme we have in store for us today. Stick under the bed, question mark. So does this mean maybe a slat? In other words, the slats that are arranged across the bed frame in order to support the mattress. I'm wondering if that is what that means by stick, because we have a question mark indicating a bit of punnery or wordplay. So the stick, instead of being put under the bed, a verb, it could be a noun, meaning a sort of stick of wood, a slat. Not sure. Moves quickly as a cloud. As a cloud. I don't know. In what way, in what way does a cloud move quickly? Not sure, but it probably ends with an S. Sparkly wine cocktail. Um, sparkly wine cocktail, a French, French 75, the wine, co- sparkled, sparkling wine cocktail, or a, a Cure Royale, or a spritz, an Aperol spritz, for instance, that fits. Um, really enjoy, lap up, you lap something up, you really enjoy it, in keeping with, as per my instructions, in keeping with my instructions. Video game franchise starring Major League Baseballers. Um, I don't know. Is it not sort of just MLB something, Major League Baseball something? Mm, Not sure. Blank see it from my perspective. Try to see it from my perspective, you might request to somebody. Words before a deadline. It's due by such date. Uh, I'm not sure what this is. Let's see. This this could be the B for baseball, though, but what is the T doing here? Uh, okay, moves quickly as a cloud. Skids? I don't, I don't, know, what I'm, I don't know what I'm missing there. Uh, shifty type. An apparition? No, it doesn't, doesn't work. Uh, off the books business, perhaps. A cash... So if a business is off the books, it might do all of its transactions in cash or to avoid a paper trail. So a cloud scads or something? I don't think I know this word, or at least not in this context. Uh, this looks like it could start with the, the, the big, the big what? Does this, does this work? Fumble. Yeah, yes, you could fumble something. You could goof. Okay, so it's the big... B for baseball? I have no idea. L for league? Maybe there's a rebus. Maybe this is an entire word. Something crawl. Oh, I don't know. Let's keep looking. Annual, oh, here's a, this is an aster, okay, so that probably means this is not a rebus with a theme because it looks like the theme dancers uh, have an asterisk, so we're being told which answers in this puzzle are themed. Annual gathering of superhero fans. I don't know. Zone something, maybe? Zoo? I'm not sure. Oh, right. And here's our revealer, We can, which we knew because it was uh, sort of linked to this 53 across, 63 across answer. Uh, how this puzzle's grid... Oh, how this puzzle's grid must be rotated in order to read the answers to the starred clues when written in 17 across. Wow. 
Oh, when written in uppercase, maybe? Shift, oh, shifty type, yes. So you, you use shift on a keyboard to move into uppercase lettering, capital lettering. So a cloud scuds when it moves quickly, I suppose. So, sorry, and I, something else occurred to me here. So how this puzzle's grid must be rotated in order to read the answers to the starred clues when written in uppercase specifically. So if you imagined rotating this grid 90 degrees, then 24 down would either start with N-O or end with O-N, if you see what I mean, because the the uppercase letters here, this Z-O turns into N-O or, or, o, or, or the reverse. Um, so let's see, would the, maybe we would say clockwise then? That would fit, uh, because 90 degrees wouldn't, nor 270 degrees, which would be the opposite direction, assuming clockwise rotation. Um, and anti-clockwise obviously wouldn't work, or counterclockwise. Um, so that would mean that would mean this ends with O N annual gathering of superhero fans con oh comic con maybe right okay so how do we do this this is fascinating so we'd have to put a U here yes yes that works oh this is going to look weird so the U when we rotate this clockwise looks like a C so comic con has another one of those now how do we get an I in here that's just a that's just a, a, a sort of a dash or something. Antique tools for pressing clothes. I mean, it looks like this would be an S. Hmm. Okay. I'm not sure how, how this works actually now. This would probably be a U as well for the C in Comic-Con. And this would be an O because O doesn't need to change. And M would be an E, I suppose. If you rotated that 90 degrees clockwise, you can see how, how you could interpret that as an M. Um, I'm not sure what to do about this I. Uh, hmm. Am I missing an obvious possibility here? I mean, it, you'd think it would be a dash. Oops, sorry. Um, I don't know. That's so interesting. And this one doesn't have an asterisk. So I'm not sure, even if it were a dash, I'm not sure how that would fit into this clue. Old fashioned whoopee. Oh, I hope this is right. I mean, I've got, I've, <laughs> well, let's check some crosses. Mideast Federation since 1971 in brief, the United Arab Emirates. There we go. This, this, I'm fairly confident this is correct now. It comes and goes, a fad comes and goes. Brand of congestion medication, Sudafed? That's a that's some kind of medication. Must be for that. Where the smallest bones in the body are found, the ear. I think I knew that. Uh, it has tiny little ears that help with balance and things. Or tiny, tiny. Sorry, tiny little bones. Capital of Brazil until 1960 informally. Rio. Um, for Rio de Janeiro, uh, and then ficus fruit is a fig. I guess is that true? That must be the case. Desert home to the legendary Mongolian death worm, the Gobi Desert. Wow, the legendary Mongolian death war. I'll have to look that one up. Long time Mazda catchphrase. Right. This is Zoom Zoom was a catchphrase for Mazda vehicles. So this would be the N. Yes, because we rotate that. And then it'll be the same word again. So we have E-O-O-N, Eun Eun, or once rotated uh, Zoom Zoom. All right, good. So I, yeah, so this is all looking right. I just don't know what to do about this I. I'm sorry if that's jumping out at you and I'm just completely whiffing it. All right, let's see. Uh, Dunderhead is a nitwit, maybe. Um, sort of an idiot. And member of TV's Adams Family. This comes up quite frequently, doesn't it? Cousin It. Cog on a wheel. You could have a, um, a cog with um, sort of a gear wheel with uh, teeth. And to consider something to be is to deem it so. I consider this theme to be very clever. I deem it to be very clever. Praises to the heavens. Lionizes, maybe? Yeah, maybe. Although this looks a little... Oh, no, no, it doesn't look strange because, uh, in fact, it needs to be rotated, in which case it will look less strange. So we have... Oh, that's how you make the I. It's the H. <laughs> right. 
<laughs> Sorry. Okay, good. So let's put that in over here. Of course, it's the, I was, I was thinking in terms of sans serif fonts, so fonts without the kind of feet as you get on the top and bottom of an eye, um, because this font is sans serif, but of course, for our purposes here, we're not going to worry about being that specific. Um, anyway, so here we have our, our <laughs> slightly mad looking Comic-Con, but it, it works out. And then what was this one? Like a household with a stay at home parent, maybe, uh, one income. Yeah, that looks right. So one in come, uh, there we go. All right. That's, <laughs> it looks like some kind of runic script or something. Is this right? No, no, this isn't right. Sorry. This, yeah, that's better. Okay. Boy, it looks, it looks bonkers. Where wild animals are most likely to see you at the zoo, I suppose. And a tiny particle is an ion. A wean is a tot, so a child. Um, if one refuses to do something, one won't do it. And I oh know I thought this was going to be another one of these rotations because these W's may be turning into E's, but no, the I wouldn't uh, wouldn't do anything. So lot in Genesis, e.g. Um, lot in Genesis, e.g. Let's keep going. Swindle is bilk or to swindle somebody is to... Hmm. Oh, swindle bunko. Maybe if swindle is a noun. Uh, doesn't. I'm not quite sure that works either. Subject of a fully exposed image, a nude model or uh, hmm. polite refusal. No, sir. Maybe. Maybe this is bunko. 1977. Linda Ronstadt hit. I'm sure I'll recognize it when I see it, but I'm, I'm not sure offhand. Oh, Lot in Genesis, a widower, right. This is referring to the character of Lot, whose wife was turned into a pillar of salt. Is that right? I think so. Uh, so widowed in a strange manner. Subject of a fully exposed image, right. Okay, so it is nudes, oh, nudity, maybe. So not the subject is in the person who's being photographed, but the subject is in sort of the topic or, or area of uh, expression, I don't know. NBA Hall of Famer Thomas, Isaiah Thomas. That's come up in the crossword before. Uh, Best-selling 2019 memoir subtitled A Coming of Gender Story. Um, I'm not sure. Tis me or something? I'm not sure. Uh, let's see. Jean, who wrote Wide Sargasso C. Oh, um, is it Ray? This, oh, I've never actually read this, but I'm sort of vaguely vaguely aware of it. Components in a hard six in craps. Oh, maybe this, sorry, maybe this isn't nudity, but it's nudist. It is the, the subject of the foot. It is the person being photographed after all. So components of a hard six in craps would be trees. This is referring to the number three in sort of dice vernacular, I guess. Oh, is it is this is Jean Reese? This is this is more. This looks more familiar to me. I'm probably mispronouncing it. Uh, so the best-selling memoir, Oh Sissy. Actually, I think I did. I did sort of come across that at one point, but I've not read it. Uh, 1977, Linda Ronstadt hit. Maybe I don't know this, uh, or maybe I have something else wrong that's entirely plausible. Um, Farm delivery letters. Oh, is it a CSA, community supported agriculture, maybe? Uh, sort of, you know, produce box delivered to your home. Maybe that's what this is referring to. Organization in endorsing PPE for workers. So PPE is personal protective equipment. So OSHA, which is the office of it's, it's, it's Workplace Safety Federal Organization in the U.S. I don't remember exactly what it stands for, but um, Occupational Safety and Health Agency or something. I don't know. Anyway, uh, that would make sense that they would endorse that sort of thing. Quick Bite could be a nosh. I think that's from Yiddish. And river deposits are silts. Uh, you could have silt deposits from a river. So 
Oh, it's so easy. Oh, it's not trees, it's trays. Okay, the the threes in dice rolling. Okay, there we go. So the Linda Ronstadt hit is It's So Easy. That actually doesn't sound familiar to me. Maybe it would be if I heard the song itself. A papal emissary could be a nuncio, papal nuncio. It's the kind of thing you see. And surprise encounter, a run-in with somebody, a surprise encounter. To make something broader is to widen it. And antique tools for pressing clothes, uh, some kind of irons. So an iron for ironing one's clothes. What is this? A antique tools. I'm not sure. Hmm. Not sure what sort of iron that is. Mighty patch target. Not sure about that either. More or less in time. More or less in time. Does it mean in time, meaning in tempo, or does it mean with respect to time? Conservative, in a sense, is conservative, in a sense. If you're conservative, in a sense, you're... Uh, I'm not sure what that's looking for exactly. Affirming words, I do, maybe. You affirm an oath. Muppet named after a character in Midnight Cowboy. Oh, well, Rizzo is a character in the film Midnight Cowboy, so I guess... Uh, I never really drew the connection between that and the Muppet named Rizzo, but that must be the case. All right. Bamboozle. To bamboozle somebody is to uh, take them in, to kind of scam them, to... What? What about this? Last in a series. It could be Z or Z, the letter of the alphabet, last in the alphabetical series. Uh, word before and after two in a religious phrase. Before and after two. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. There we go. And more or less in time. Oh, circa, right, okay. So it means more or less this year. So you could say circa 500, and you'd mean more or less the year 500. And in time means, you know, we're referring to a particular, within a range of time eras. So bamboozle, why do I not see what this is still? Let's see, what about this? Conservative in a sense. Uh, let's keep looking around. Oh, here's another one of these. Babe in the woods quality. Innocence? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> sort of getting better at reading this normally in some way. So in no so in no sense. Uh, there we go. Boy, that is this just looks absolutely bonkers. Okay. Bamboozle cousin, C O Z E N. That's sort of familiar, but it's not a usage I would use often, certainly. Señor's send-off could be adios. There we go. So the uh, señor being a word in Spanish means the answer in this case will also be in Spanish. So adios, there we go. Oh, conservative, cautious, right. So if you're sort of conservative by nature, you could be cautious by nature, not in a political sense, but in a sort of temperament. Okay. Um, oh, sit irons, that's something. I don't know exactly what that word is, but it looks sort of familiar. It must be this. Uh, old fashioned, or maybe not. Maybe it's not. I don't know. I thought that sounded like something like, maybe I'm thinking of andirons, which are used, you know, in a, in a fire, in a, a fireplace, I mean. Um, yeah, I don't know. Old fashioned whoopee. Oh, huzzah. Sad irons. I don't think I know that one. Is that right? That doesn't, that's not familiar to me, but I think these other crosses are correct. Hmm. Yeah, I'll have to move on. Anyway, this was filled out. Medi patch target zit. Okay, it must be some sort of acne treatment. And then mare makeup uh, is O. Oh, so here's another case where it's a foreign language clue. So mare in this case is French for the sea. So uh, the makeup of the sea is water, which in French is O, E A U. Fraternity letter. So in the kind of North American fraternity, university fraternity system, uh, individual. Houses are named, or, or, cha or what, chapters or whatever they are, um, are named with Greek letters. So this one is probably tau. And last in a series would be the nth, maybe. You could sort of indicate, you know, first, second, third, ellipses, nth degree, to represent whatever the end of it is. And then blank crawl, a news crawl? The big S. Video game franchise starring Major League Baseballers, I've, doesn't, ring any bells to me at all. 
I hope that's correct. News crawl. It must be right. And then shortest path connecting two points on a sphere would be an arc. That makes sense. Uh, surname of father, son, actors, James and Scott. Does James Kahn have a son, Scott Kahn? I don't know, but I'm just based on the A here and the four letters. I'm wondering if that's the case. The, the late James Kahn um, served flawlessly. I saw the film Thief for the first time. It ran and played in theaters here and um, it was really excellent. James Kahn film. Uh, Michael Mann directed it or Michael Mann, I guess. Uh, served flawlessly. Maybe this is right. Oh no, aced. Aced is in uh, tennis. A tennis serve. Uh, so if you if you served flawlessly, you aced your opponent, and they couldn't return the serve. Henry Ford's sole heir, Edsel. I know that Edsel was the name of one of, or maybe his only child. I'm not sure, but um, there was a famous flop of a car called the Ford Edsel, named in his honor, and it was a complete disaster. So here we have an off the books business, perhaps cash trade. There we go. So yes, trading in cash, nothing on the books. Site of a Herculean task. So the Hercules, um, uh, the, the lion of Nemea, one of Hercules' labors. And uh, let's see, do we have all the other crosses here? Yes, you'll have union. All right, uh, overly suspicious. If you're overly suspicious, you could be paranoid. And to play with as a catnip mouse, a mouse could paw at a catnip mouse. Olympics venue could be an, an Olympic arena. To lubricate, lubricate again is to re-oil something. Sambuca flavoring. Sambuca has that strong anise flavor. Um, so, sure, that's what that is. Padded accounts are tales. You could maybe tell a tall tale and sort of pad out your account, make it a bit more astonishing than it maybe really was. And something's function is its use. So, there we go. So we have a, we have a puzzle where if you didn't, ever figure out what was going on. I mean, eventually you'd get clockwise simply through the crosses and you'd, you'd eventually figure this out. But if you filled out most of this grid without understanding the theme, it would just be absolute nonsense. We'd have Babe in the Woods quality appears to be was woes, uh, but in fact is innocence. Uh, the annual gathering of superhero fans, which appears to be Zuhio, is in fact Comic-Con, uh, the comics convention. We have... My favorite, the longtime Mazda catchphrase, which appears to be Yoon Yoon. And finally, oh, but in fact, it's Zoom Zoom. And finally, we have like a household with a stay at home parent, maybe, which looks to be Weao Zhuo and in reality is one income. So, a very clever theme dealing with clockwise rotation of these words to allow them to be read properly. It's a very nice, very nice, well done theme by Simeon Siegel. And of course, they are symmetrically disposed and they are of lengths that allow that, they have matching lengths that allow that to occur. So an additional, um, I suppose what he must have done was figure out which letters could be represented through this rotational means, because obviously not all of them can be, you know, a T or an S, I don't think there's any way to make that work, or an R, um, at least with capital letters, certainly with, with well, yeah, even with, well, no, I suppose a t lowercase t could simply be a, a crossed t-shape. So that could, per that could persist with the others, not so much. Anyway, I, I guess what he must have done was just find words that only contain these letters. And then <laughs> within that, find ones that could be divided into matching lengths like this. And then, yeah, it's an impressive, it's an impressive solve. Lots of, of Zs. <laughs> and it's funny because there were even more in the grid, I suppose, because once you have one Z in a word, Often there are two. Uh, here we have Rizzo and Huzzah. Anyway, a very nice theme by Simeon Siegel. And uh, let's quickly, quickly review a couple clues from yesterday's puzzle. I don't think there were very many to go over. Stephen Giblin corrects my misinterpretation um, of how insurance works in the U.S. The out-of-pocket amount paid by an insured before medical kicks in is a deductible. A copay is the percentage of the cost of the medical procedure that the insured must pay after the deductible is met, e.g. 80%. Thanks for that. Sorry, completely. I don't know. It's complicated. Uh, <laughs> Clara explains, Ikea is named after the creator Ingvar Kamprod and the place he grew up, Elm Tarid, outside of Agunarid. I'm sure I butchered those pronunciations, but there we go. It's an acronym. I didn't know that. 
Nix Hicks points out that April is National Poetry Month. Love all the references, she says, pointing out yesterday's theme being very much on uh, relevant to the month. Thanks for that. And finally, Sean Monahan says, what they grow in Nigeria is a yam, and what is eaten in America is sweet potatoes. And they're different roots. For some reason, we call our sweet potatoes yams, but they are not. Indeed, they are completely different uh, root vegetables. And I always forget which is which, but I think I'll probably remember now. Thank you for that. And that's everything I have. Thank you so much for joining me for this edition of The Daily Solve. I'll be back tomorrow for the Friday edition, our first themeless puzzle of the week. First of two, please do join me then. But until that point, have an excellent remainder of your Thursday. Take care. (laughs) 